Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today is day two of the Halloween week of videos, and today I will be talking about the film The Iron Rose from 1973, or in France it's called La Rose de Fer. It's a spooky little kind of experimental film. It's directed by John Rowland. I'm really not familiar with this director. He apparently did these like erotic uh, vampire movies. I had never seen anything by him. I'd never heard of him before. And I saw The Iron Rose and I was really just taken aback by it. It's just, it's so experimental and weird and the artistry to it I think is definitely the strongest part. I mean there are definitely flaws. It's not the most professional film I've ever seen in my life. And it doesn't feature any vampires. It's really an artistic departure for this director, which is funny, like, I like this movie so much, and I'm kind of not as enticed to see his other movies because it's, like, so different. Supposedly, this guy who meets a girl at this wedding, and they're like, hey, we should hang out. What do you like to do on Sundays? Let's hang out. They go on this bike ride, and they hang out in this cemetery. And they go in there, and they're kind of making out, and they're fooling around, and they're not being the most respectful people in a cemetery. There's like this crypt underground, and they open up the, these metal doors, or these metal doors, they open up the metal doors, and the guy goes down, the girl goes down, and then they get naked and have sex. But when they emerge post Coitus. At first they think when they're down there that someone has closed the doors, but no one has closed the doors because it is dark and they realize they're lost in the cemetery at night. At first I think the guy is the craziest. He's the one who's kind of losing, he's being disrespectful, he doesn't really care, he isn't sure where he is, but then soon the girl starts to lose it and she becomes the one who's the real problem. The female lead in this, who's played by uh, Francoise Pascal, she has kind of like almost a demonic quality to her because I mean I've read what the director thinks, I've read a lot of interpretations of this film, uh, things about this film, and supposedly it's supposed to be her unwinding and going crazy, and that's very clear that she has kind of gone insane by being in the cemetery, but there's earlier parts in the film where the film opens with her on a beach and she's holding this iron rose and I almost think like she's a ghost. Like the way her face looks, the way she looks at things, the way she interacts with everything, like that she is not like a living person, but she interacts as, with living people. So there's like a ghostly presence about her. The whole film's so spooky because they're lost in like a cemetery at night. Most of the time when you go to a cemetery at night, want to smoke pot or like make out with some girl it was kind of spooky and cool and majestic and you'd be like afraid like what's gonna happen you know I'm in a cemetery it like, feels bad and I think we've all been told how there's ghosts in cemeteries and I think we all kind of project that onto cemeteries if you're supposed to believe in God or whatever religion I'm assuming that their ghosts aren't still there they're wherever they went and to heaven or hell and so there's really nothing there but it feels sacred it feels like sacred ground it feels like you're not supposed to be there and this film really gets into that and apparently the director was location scouting for another film and he'd even written a short story similar to this but he him and his location scout went to a cemetery and it became dark and they actually did get lost for like two hours, which sounds, actually, I think two hours is like pretty horrifying. And I can't imagine overnight, that would be a really unnerving uh, experience, which I kind of almost understand why the girl loses it, because it's so unnerving to be in a cemetery. And it, it sounds like a harrowing experience. He had a lot of problems making this film. The lead actor, Hugh Quester, is actually billed as Pierre Dupont because he was a lot of trouble to work with and since most of the film except for the wedding scene early on is just the boy and the girl it's just Hughes Quester and Francoise Pascal it was obviously very difficult shooting this because he just really wasn't his game for it and John Roland didn't like working with him and he didn't actually like the Francoise uh, Pascal either he thought her performance was rather lame although I think her performance is one of the things I really love about this movie because she's almost spooky and creepy and she kind of like feels like she's like the soul of the film, like she's inhabiting the film as much as the film is using her as an actor. He had set up this deal that he would have had to make like six film, hardcore kind of sex films for this other studio uh, if they gave him the money to do this. And then he had a hard time getting personal projects made because when he premiered at this film festival, people booed like some critics and 
uh, people who were there said it was like they've never seen a director treated so terribly and it really kind of ruined the reception of the movie. It, it was a huge disaster financially. And just people just didn't really like it. I mean, there are definite problems with it. It has a dreamlike, weird quality to it. So it's, it's not really for everyone. I mean, if you've never seen an experimental film before, I really don't recommend this movie. I think if you are familiar with kind of otter film and experimental film, you'd really like this movie and you'll see like the majestic kind of odd spooky quality to it. This isn't the kind of horror film that's gonna make you jump out of your seat and get you really scared, but it's definitely unnerving. It's very dreamlike, it's very weird, there's kind of weird visual metaphors that I'm not sure exactly what it means, but I kind of love it for all that. I love this quality to it that it's just like it's its own weird little strange movie and it's so simple I mean it's such kind of a small production it's just a film that I can't shake I've seen it twice now every time I see it I kind of leave in a daze I didn't really know that it was kind of more of a personal passion project it feels like that when you're watching it it's such a strange artful, arty, kind of experimental, foreign horror movie, I think that makes it both a jarring experience and a memorable experience because there's a lot of stuff in this film that I'll always remember. It's, it's kind of like the terrifying element that you just can't get out of it. So uh, if you have seen uh, The Iron Rose and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to. Come back tomorrow for uh, day three of the Halloween week of videos. And I guess I will see that.